Hi there, Rhonda Winstead here again. I want to show you another of my fabric slash paper journals that I have made. Um, this one, I'm not, I'm not completely in love with uh, my ripped fabric here. I may either tea dye it or I may do a different type of closure, but for now it's okay. So this is made from using, let's see, these sandwich lunch bags, or I don't know what they're called. Anyway, they've got a nice crinkle to them. But those were my base that I used on my journal. So let's go ahead and give you a quick flip through. Okay. Um, I have used a lot of old vintage laces, um, some printables. I've used the um, Midori style uh, to attach my pages so they have elastic and I can take them in and out or add more. This is the back. Let me see if we can get a close-up so you can see a little bit more of the detail. It's really beautiful. Okay, get that back down to a reasonable size. Okay, I have some coffee and tea dyed elements, glassine bags, whoops, um, just different, you can see the stitching. I've got some fun lace. This is uh, from a chenille bedspread. Let's see, maybe I need to take that out just a little bit more and see the whole thing. More lace. I use stamps, fabric, just a combination of a lot of things. Here's a handkerchief. With this, you'll notice I have a pocket on each page that you can journal, paint, whatever. Some old vintage bathing beauties, glassine, vintage papers, stamps, handkerchief I won't open the pocket on everyone but you know that with each page that is included this is paper that I've ruffled and included it just this is an old feed sack, ledger paper, vintage lace, part of a hanky, bigger hanky, more lace, nice linen that I've frayed, dictionary paper, more stamps, vintage laces, ledger paper, Another ruffle. This one's done with the tissue paper that comes with patterns that you buy.
more of the same. I've done it all kind of muted colors, soft pastels. I do like those, obviously, because I work with those a lot. A little bit more lace stamps. This is graph paper, glassine paper, deli paper. Um, of course, here you get a better view of the the paper sack, handkerchief, just stitching on. Piece of fabric that is made to look vintage. I just love the pattern. Just really soft and pretty, I think. This is a little different page with the yellow. And this is, oh, you guys. Does anybody hand tat anymore? This is tatting. I'm just incredibly in awe of anyone who tats. And the things that uh, these vintage laces and, and hankies and scarves and doilies that people made. Uh, they're just so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. And here we have a little bit of applique um, combined with the lace and papers. Here's a little bit of selvage, more stamps, rickrack, just different just different fun things that I think really go well together. Another ruffle at the top and these little pieces of doily. These were little cutouts from a, a larger doily. Just really pretty. A little bit of fabric and vintage papers and lace. And then the last couple of pages here. Just a combination of different things. This just gives you an idea of some of the gorgeous things that you can create with paper, with fabric, with trash, really. Some little snippets, some small pieces that you wouldn't even think of keeping, and yet look how gorgeous they are when put together nicely. And here on the back, we've got a couple more of the glassine bags. This is a library card and another tag. And then I will show you, let's see, can you see? Here's the elastic in between. Bing! So, if I wanted to take it out, I could. I didn't, when I put this together, I just didn't want to take a chance on messing this up. I thought it was beautiful the way it was. And so I went ahead and put eyelets in and the stretch um, cording so that it would fit nicely. So, there you go. Thank you for looking, guys. I appreciate it. If you like it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, subscribe, and Hopefully with time, I'll get better at this. Bye now.